Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see how to add the audio content in the HTML document. So up to now, we have seen how to add the video content and also how to add the image content we have seen using this video element and the image element respectively. Now we'll try to take a look at this, how to add this audio, video, audio content also in the HTML. The audio element works just like the video element with a few small differences as outlined below. So for adding this audio content in the HTML, we will be using this audio element. Just like the video element, how, uh, how it will be used to add the video content. In the same scenario, audio content if you want to add means we will we'll be using this audio element. The same thing, so we, how the video element will work, the same scenario, the audio element also works in the same scenario. But it will have some smaller, fewer differences. Let's try to see what are the differences you will be having. So this is the code snippet for adding this audio into the HTML document. If you try to say you are having audio open tag and the close tag. In between these audio tags, you will be able to see the source, source, the source element. The source element, just like the video, we will be having the SRC attribute and also the type attribute. Now this type attribute will take the MIM type of audio slash MP3 or something like that. Whatever the MP3 format you will be having. Audio format. So you will be adding this audio format. And another one you will be having this fallback content. If your audio element is not supported by your browser. If your browser doesn't support this HTML5 audio. So you will be using this one. Your browser doesn't support HTML5 audio. It will try to show the message. So this is all about this code snippet. How to write the audio thing. Let's try to see some of the attributes that are available for this audio content. This takes up less space than a video player. So if you try, if you add this audio code snippet in your HTML document, so it will take less space than the video player. So how, how much the space the video player will take, but this audio player will not take that much of place. Why? Because as there is no visual component in the video player, if you're able to see, you'll be having a visual component to show the video. Whereas in the audio component, so you don't have this video, right? So you'll be showing only the player controls itself. So you just need to display controls to play the audio. That's it. Other differences from HTML video are as follows. So this is the main difference. So visually means so video player will have the visual component. Whereas the audio audio player doesn't have the video component. So it will just have the controls to play the audio. So other differences from HTML video are as follows. Let's try to see the other differences. First one. The audio element does not support the width or height attributes. In the previous video, in the previous, we have seen that video element has an attribute something like width and height to adjust the width and height of the player. But whereas this audio element does not su doesn't support the width and height. Why? Because as there is no visual component, so there is nothing to assign width or height. So in the video player, you will be having a video playing, so you can adjust the width and height of this video. But in the audio, you will, not, you, do, you will not have any video component to adjust the height, width and height. So that is the reason so for an audio car player. So we don't have the width and height attributes. It also doesn't support the poster attribute also again. So we give because there is no visual component. In video element, so it, it takes the poster attribute to show the thumbnail of the video. So before playing the video, it will show that poster, poster thing. So whatever the image poster you will be giving, it will show it as a poster before playing the video. But whereas in the audio, so you will not, you will not have this visual component. So there is no need to add this poster attribute also. So other than this audio supports all the same features as the video. So how the audio uh, video, so these all the attributes are there something like controls, autoplay, loop, muted. So these all attributes will be there same as the same as per the audio also. So now in now we'll try to see the practical implementation of this audio player, how we can add it in the HTML. Now, if you try to see here, this is our code. And here I am trying to create a new file that is audio, sorry, audio.html. So in this audio.html, let's try to add this code snippet. So I have added this code snippet. Now here we try to add this audio, not video. So I am using audio element and here you will have a source. So if you have multiple audio formats means to support all the browsers, you will add, you will add the source attribute. Right now I am using something like high.mp3 so which it doesn't exist but uh, just I am trying to show you type is equal to audio slash mp3 and another one what I can show is high.ogg format or anything whatever the audio format you are having you can show that audio format it's not an issue so we have added these two things and fallback content also if you want you can add it 
so your browser your browser doesn't support html5 or otherwise html5 audio element okay so that's it so now let's try to see the output so let's open this one in the live server so i have opened this in live server now we are not able to see the audio element why because we need to add an attribute that to show the default controls so here i am showing these controls now you will be able to see the control panel so this is the audio control panel now some of the uh, some of the options also there which is available for this audio thing that is nothing but loop so loop we know that so whenever the audio is played completed it will play from the first onwards again and the next one is an auto play auto play what it will try to do is automatically when you try to do the via the audio will try to play it uh, automatically start the start the playing and another one what we will having is so we don't have the width and height so width and height is not supported for example if i want to give width of 2000 or something like this let's say how the player will appear so here the player is same like that only why because it is not it uh, the audio element doesn't support the width attribute or otherwise height attribute also it will not support so the next one what you will be having is muted so if you use this muted automatically this one will be muted okay here yeah. and the preload also it will be there so preload also will be supported why because to buffer it and all those things okay preload auto auto metadata none so auto you can use it so that it will buffer automatically so poster poster attribute will be not existing so poster attribute will not be there so other than those everything remains the same so this is how we will be adding this audio element for adding the audio content in the html document hope you understood about this audio element if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you